What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be getting the demon painted and you guys are going to be able to see what color I chose. Alright, so where I left off last video, we had the whole car high build primed. And uh, since then, we went over the whole car with um, 240 grit sandpaper and then finished it off with 600 grit sandpaper. And we burned through some places, as you can see the darker spots. So what we just did was take some rattle can high build primer and kind of touch up the spots that we burned through. But anyways, now the car is ready for paint and what I'm going to be doing right now is taking the rest of the tape off that we still have on from when we primed the car and then finish cleaning up the shop a bit and we should be good for paint. Here's to the transition of the next day. The next day. Alright guys, I'll stop you there. I'm not going to make you wait till the end of the video until I reveal the color. And I'm definitely not going to make you watch the whole video in black and white. So without further ado, here's the color reveal. So this color that I chose, it's a velvet red pearl and it's the same paint code as the octane reds that you see on newer demons. I'm actually pretty happy I went with this color. I end up liking it a lot more than what I thought I would like it, which is a good thing. But anyways, I'll let you guys continue watching the video in color and then I'll explain some more stuff at the end.
Alrighty, so the three um, base coats to color are on now. And what's next is the clear coat. We gotta do three, well, hopefully three coats clear coat. So I'm going to grab that right now. My cat, clear coat. All right, so as you can see, I didn't film a whole lot, and there's a few reasons for that. The first one being, I had quite a few jobs to do, like I was running the tack cloth a lot during the process of the paint on this car, and another one being is the overspray was really bad, and I didn't want to get any on my camera. I got some on my glasses, and it wasn't very good. We did the three coats of clear coat, and the overspray with the clear coat, it was like really sticky, and there was a lot of it, so I didn't really video a whole lot of clear coat. But I'm super stoked with how this paint's turning out. I want to kind kind of try and show you the pearl in it. I'll zoom in. It's hard to see, but there is quite a bit of pearl in this paint, and you can see it better in person. The camera doesn't do very good at picking it up. But what we have to do now is wet sand it and I'm not exactly sure of the wet sanding process. I'm not going to be videoing any wet sanding or anything, but what I do know is that it look, should look pretty good when it's done. As you can see, we did get overspray in the engine bay and whatnot and stuff, but it's fine because we are going to be respraying the engine bay. The engine bay is going to be black and then my engine itself is going to be the same color as the car. But other than that, I'm not too sure what the plan is after this, other than knowing that I have to get working on my transmission and my engine and getting that in the car, but as of now, the painting is a huge milestone and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I think that's all I gotta say for this video. I'm not too sure how far I am off in the video right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end it there. So. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up down below, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.